Hello and welcome to week 39 of the League of Legends. Here's our free of the week. Uh, first off, we have Annie. Uh, you're mostly going to find Annie in the middle. She is a solid AP mage. Our two central gimmicks you're going to need to work out for or use yourself uh, is that every fourth skill she does causes a stun, which could be very, very dangerous because she has a whole bunch of, like, she has a cone attack and, well, her ultimate, she summons a giant teddy bear that is on fire. So in most cases, uh, Annie's going to want to use her stun on the teddy bear because when she summons him, he has a giant fire explosion. It, it can be rather annoying if you're not used to the stun, but um, she's kind of fallen out of favor. Even though she is free this week, I doubt you're going to see that many Annie's. Next up, ah, we have the uh, latest champion on the free, uh, Diana. She's supposedly a jungler, supposedly top laner. Um, Matt bought her, but really hasn't had a chance to use her that much. Um, she seems really cool, basically like a solidly magic Akali. So you're not looking at a hybrid build or anything like that. She's pure AP, and her main gimmick is that if she hits somebody with her Q, uh, she can immediately use her ultimate on them with zero cooldown problems. So she can go Q, R, R, or Q, R, and then wait, 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 then Q, then R. And then R. So she she can burst damage. Very, very great. She has a solid shield that uh does that is like basically like the RE Firefox. And if all three of those little pips hit something, it refreshes her shield. So she's solid jungler. Uh, next up we have support Gianna. She is one of the uh I guess she's one of the more popular supports right now. Uh, very, very aggressive kind of a kill lane. Um she can give people a shield, and the dangerous thing about that is that um, the shield buffs the attack damage whoever she's hitting. She has an ultimate that pushes people away as well as healing uh, friendlies. And her tornado can be really um, difficult to deal with if you're not used to it. Just listen for the sound of it. It's like a whoosh, 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 whoosh noise. And it'll pop up anybody that's in the way. She used to have insane AP ratios, but I think they toned those down a bit after you started seeing too many AP Giannas. Uh, next up is Cassidy, the Annie Mage. Um... He's a mid laner. Uh, his whole deal is he has a lot of natural uh, magic defense. And uh, the main damage damage things you're going to see out of him is he has a, a ranged uh, silence attack that does pretty good damage. And he can also uh, teleport on command thanks to his ultimate. I've never played his Cassina before, so I don't quite know the mechanics. But uh, he can zip around the map, and uh, he can snowball easier than... Uh, I guess maybe not easier, but he's very snowball heavy. Once he starts rolling, it's very, very hard to stop a Kassadin. Ah, uh, Nunu. He is bot lane support and also jungle. Uh, the big cool thing about him is he recently received a huge buff. His passive is now uh, every five attacks that he does will give him a free spell. So if he does five auto attacks and uses ultimate, that eh, doesn't cost anything. Uh, his jungling abilities are pretty good. His Q does true damage and heals if he can, uh, when he uh, attacks an enemy minion with it. So in a team fight, the Q isn't useful. But if there's minions nearby, he can heal himself quite a bit. And he also has an attack speed and movement speed steroid that he can apply to uh, either himself or to an ally. And if he does it to an ally, he gets it too. Uh, very good, and his E is a slow. So, I mean, there's tons of great things. I mean, he can run out of the brush, slow somebody, pop his ultimate in a team fight, which is a giant AoE slow slash uh, AP nuke. I don't. I, I like Nunu. I've always liked Nunu, but the last time I tried to play him, I did terrible. So expect to see pack caliber play out of some Nunus this week. Ah, Singed, the Bruiser from the top lane. Uh, Singed is a character that I don't get whatsoever because I like doing damage. Uh, he is very hard to kill, and a lot of his things are about uh, utility. He has a thing that will fling people behind him. He can spit glue that'll slow people that run through it. His ultimate it just buffs him up, and uh, he has a poison cloud, which is kind of neat, but that's his minion clearing thing. Uh, he's he's a beast late game, and he's a pretty cool top lane. He's kind of gotten out of favor, but, you know, I'm always scared to see a singed. Twisted Fate, a dangerous mid laner. Uh, he's got a couple of fun mechanics that you're going to need to learn. He can be built either AD or AP. I shouldn't even say that. I haven't seen an AD Twisted Fate in forever. He's mainly an AP Twisted Fate because of his solid ratios. Uh, his central mechanic is when he uses W, he picks a card. Uh, the red will do um, slow, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, slows and any enemy hit by the red card, a little AoE pops out of. So you can do some pretty solid on that. But you're going to be using his Q for minion clearing. Uh, the yellow card is the 
the most famous one because that is the stun. And his blue card will allow him to regain mana on hit, so you can kind of stay in lane for a pretty decent amount of time. Uh, his ultimate is his big danger thing. He can basically get into either the top lane or the bottom lane. It's, it's a teleport. He can see where every enemy is, and then with, I guess, a half a map range, you can teleport to that area, making him very, very dangerous. Uh, Galio, I've seen him play to support every now and then, but never really all that successfully. He's also can be played as a mid lane or a top lane. Uh, like Nunu, he has a big like AoE uh, ultimate. Anybody that's in the ultimate will be compelled to attack him, and then he returns all the damage he's dealt several fold at the end of that. So that can be ruinous in a team fight. So if you see some Nunu Galio, oof, God, super ultimate combos, I'll call that. Can be very dangerous. As a uh, AP res uh, can be becomes magic resist or vice versa. Like he, he, if you build him tanky, he will get more damage. So his probably his magic resist turns into AP. He's got some other solid moves, and he has a, a good attack sp or movement speed boost that he can give to everybody if they walk in the path of his. Uh, it's kind of like a move, almost like Janna, where he gusts wind forward. And if you walk through that, you can move quicker. Good for chasing. Oh, uh, Zin Zhao, ever since he's been buffed, I've been absolutely terrified of him. He seems to have, like, infinite life steal, does tons of damage. His ultimate is annoying because he knocks everybody but his target away. And that means if you're an Alistair player like I am every now and then, if you're trying to protect your AD carry or the back line, he will bat you away and you will look helplessly as he butchers everyone. Uh, dangerous person. Uh, jungle and also top lane. It's all top lane, it's all jungle right now. Uh, the final person for the week, Miss Fortune. I think I've admitted to never having played her in the past as well, and that she stole the fantastic move name Make It Rain from Varus. But uh, you know what? People seem to enjoy her. Uh, I've never. I don't know where she would go in the current meta. Uh, maybe a mid. I've heard that she is an AP character. I could be wrong. But uh, her main danger zone thing is that she can fire off uh, her ultimate with a giant cone of damage. Easy to dodge, but. If you're not used to it, there is a little bit of a, oh god, kind of thing that happens when you look at it. Uh, so, uh, interesting free week. I mean, the main things that I'm worried about are the potential of Galio and Nunu working together. Twisted Fate's annoying. Singe can be hard. I don't know much enough about Cassidan, but um, Cassidan and Diana both have ways to clear distance quickly and will do massive AP damage. So you know what? This week, I'm going to say stack your magic resists because it's going to be painful. Uh, as for the sales, we'll go through this real quick. Uh, Tarek, his uh, Bloodstone version, is on sale. Look look at that hair. Look at that majestic hair. Kind of a cool armor. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of interested in it. Let's see who is the... Oh, wow, they all cost. There's no cheap this week. Uh, Yorick, who you can see the model viewer is totally glitching out on, so we'll take a picture at. He kind of looks like he's out of Brutal Legend in this outfit. Uh, I don't really play much Yorick, but ooh, he's kind of got the Mordekaiser thing, which makes sense because this is his Pentakill skin. And uh, Full Metal Pantheon, he looks he looks neat. I mean, he's a robot. I like robot versions of characters. Um, I don't know. Could could look neater. Could do without. But uh, if, if you want Pantheon, you want to be a robot, that could be neat. And let's wrap this up with the people who are on sale. Tarek is our cheap of the week. He is a steal at 292. Uh, I love playing as Tarek support. He has a solid heal. He has a great stun. He has tons and tons of auras, so he's gonna bust. He's gonna buff your attack, your AP, your armor. This guy is awesome. And if you build him correctly, you can place even more auras on top of that. Aura, aura, aura. He's awesome. <laughs> it's like JoJo. Uh, Ezreal. He is on sale this week. One of the few AD champs I don't know. Um, he's got a lot of great mobility. Uh, full screen ultimate, and uh, he can go either AP or AD thanks to. I guess you can almost say like the flip-flop synergies of his other two moves that are available to him. I think his Q and his W. Uh, and last, we got the Beast from the Jungle. That's right. It's Trundle, uh, the troll. He is, uh, I don't know. I bought him immediately, and I've always tried to make him work. I've had no luck at him. But I saw a top lane Trundle that was an absolute nightmare. So maybe he is one of those unkillable champs thanks to his ultimate. Uh, you can't run away from a Trundle because he's got a speed boost and a pillar of filth that can block and slow. He's got lots of natural life steal. I know he can be dangerous. I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that know how to use him to the f 
best of his abilities, and they can make him real scary. I'm not that person. So some interesting items I would definitely pick up. Tarek, if you want to spice up your support game. Trundle, hey, if you're up for the challenge, take him. Ezreal, um, most likely you should pick him up, because if Pulsefire ever goes on sale, I want to pick it up. All right, so that's your free of the week and the sale of the week. Have fun.